they are selling over here in that uh, mildewy corner. We are selling Neo Hamburger merchandise. Actually, we're not selling it. We're offering it for sale. In fact, it will not sell. <laughs> but we do have t-shirts. Folks, these t-shirts are really unique. How many folks have been fans of mine for quite some time? <laughs> these t-shirts are probably what you will want to buy because these t-shirts are actually from my 1992 tour. We had a hundred thousand of these t-shirts made for that tour. And the sad truth is that we were unable to pay the bill to the uh, printer and the shirts were seized uh, and uh, never delivered to me. I never saw these shirts until two months ago because I could not pay the bill. Uh, the t-shirt printer kept these shirts in a storage locker in Laverne, California from 1992 to 2006. During that time, this storage locker was unfortunately, as many of the uh, students here of American Weather, I know there are several universities in town, and I'm sure many of you are majoring in the history of American Weather. Um, as many of you know, in 1997, Laverne, California had an unprecedented uh, rainfall, several inches of rain. The problem with that is, for my t-shirts, and for this t-shirt manufacturer who spent all this money getting these things made only not to get paid by me because I was in bankruptcy court. Ah, could you shut up? <laughs> the problem was is that these t-shirts were held in this storage locker in Laverne, California, and when the 1997 rainstorms came down, the roof of this storage locker could not bear the weight of all this water, and it collapsed. It collapsed onto my shirts. And uh, the sad truth is, is that this, this storage facility, which was called AAAA Storage, they didn't really care. And they just let the water soak in all over the shirts. And the problem there was is that the rats came in, folks, and these shirts are 100% cotton, and the rats began to eat the shirts. And wherever you have rats, do you know what you have, folks? You've got cats. Now, we all love cats. They are man's best friend. But I'll tell you what, when your beautiful pet cat is attacking and tearing the guts out of a rat, it is not your best friend. It is a feral, horrible animal. And these cats came in, and they were eating these rats who were eating my shirts. And then the sad truth is, one of these cats got knocked up by one of the other cats and gave birth to a litter of 12 wonderful kittens. Now, despite the horror of this story, these kittens were actually quite sweet, quite beautiful, quite charming, and could do a lot of tricks with a ball of yarn if they were ever given the chance. But they weren't, because these kittens began to starve to death, because the rats were all eaten by the cats, and there was nothing left to eat. The cotton on the shirts was mostly eaten, and these sweet little kittens began eating their own mother. That's right. And then began eating each other until there was only one kitten left, an enormous, gigantic, diseased kitten who had eaten its 11 siblings and its own mother. And then this kitten had nothing left to eat and it eventually died on the gigantic, gelatinous lump, which was my 100,000 t-shirts, but which was destroyed by rain, rats, sunlight. That's why we took the shirts uh, to Raton, New Mexico, where you can get a car wash for 25 cents in the self-service um, car wash there. We washed all these shirts with hot water and soap, and uh, we are selling them right here in the bank for $15 each, a piece of history, and a way to remember these heroic cats who gave so much for their country and for society and for Jesus Christ.